When the goal is losing fat, there is often a sense of urgency. We want to be lean, rather yesterday than today. But perhaps this mindset is the reason why many people find it hard to get lasting fat loss results. Like anything worth having, losing significant amounts of fat in a healthy way takes time. Sure, theoretically it is possible to lose fat very quick by doing a ton of cardio every day while having a low calorie intake. But does that really bring the results we want? Most people want to feel strong and lean. Being too strict in your fat loss journey can result in the opposite, in which you feel low energy after your diet and have lost significant muscle. To prevent this from happening to you, in today's video I will discuss how fast you can lose fat in a sustainable way, so you can reach your fat loss goals in a time efficient way, while also being able to sustain your results after the diet. For most people watching this video, the goal typically will be losing fat while at least maintaining muscle. You don't want to be spending months developing muscle and strength to then lose it in a fat loss diet. But muscle maintenance is not just important for aesthetic purposes, it also helps you better sustain your fat loss. Research shows that individuals that maintain muscle during their fat loss diet are able to better preserve their resting metabolic rate. When you lose body fat, your metabolism adapts by decreasing your daily energy expenditure. One of the ways through which your body decreases energy expenditure is by decreasing the number of calories you expend at rest. Since muscle is metabolically active tissue, successfully maintaining muscle helps you maintain a slightly higher energy expenditure. But how quickly can you lose body fat while still maintaining muscle? Well, if we look at the research, we see that this depends on your starting point. For instance, someone that is relatively lean has less overall fat to lose and will need a slower rate of fat loss compared to someone that is overweight. There is research to support this. For lean athletes, being aggressive with your fat loss can have negative consequences. In a 2011 study, one group had a target of losing 0.7% of their body weight per week, the other group had an aggressive weight loss goal of 1.4% body weight loss per week. The group of athletes that lost weight more aggressively had impaired strength development and also experienced slight muscle loss on a group level. In another 2016 study, 20 overweight male volunteers were researched while maintaining a calorie-restricted diet. Throughout a 4-week dieting period, they maintained an aggressive 40% calorie deficit. The participants ate just a little bit more than half of their maintenance calories and they were still able to maintain muscle while losing fat. So this indicates that overweight or obese individuals, at least in the short term, can have a more aggressive rate of weight loss than lean individuals and still maintain muscle. But what's most important in this discussion of fat loss speed is sustainability. Even if you lose fat very slowly, progress is progress and it adds up over time. Try to think in 3 years from now, do you think that you will care if your fat loss diet lasted 3 months or 6 months? Probably not. What you'll care about is whether you have been able to lose fat and successfully keep it off to set yourself up for a more healthy future. So regardless of what anyone says, you can lose fat at your own pace. Now you may think, okay philosophical fitness YouTuber, just tell me how much weight I can lose per week realistically. And if we look at the research, then there actually are some pretty good guidelines on what a good rate of weight loss is for losing fat while at least maintaining muscle. A 2014 research review suggests that losing about 0.5 to 1% of your total body weight per week is an effective goal for achieving fat loss while preserving muscle, so a 200 pound individual can expect to lose 1 to 2 pounds per week. I would have a logical approach with this range. If you are already relatively lean, you can aim to lose about 0.5% of your body weight per week, and overweight or obese individuals can aim more for 1% of their body weight per week as weight loss since there is a greater potential to lose more body fat while maintaining muscle. Losing just 0.5 to 1% of your body weight per week may sound slow to some people, but the progress definitely adds up if you stay consistent. If I take my fat loss progress of my recent fat loss phase, I lost an average of about 1.2 pounds per week over a period of 16 weeks and was able to get my desired level of leanness. Now, if I were to be impatient, I could try losing about 2 or 3 pounds per week and finish my fat loss phase in say 8 weeks, but I probably wouldn't enjoy that process since I had to then be very strict with my diet and couldn't for instance go out to eat with friends, and also my energy levels would probably be low so I wouldn't be able to perform well in the gym. So it's cool that you know now that 0.5 to 1% body weight loss per week is a good target, but how do you actually achieve this? 
And the answer very simply is by maintaining a moderate calorie deficit. Since I have other videos that go into how to create a calorie deficit, I will keep this quite brief. Take your goal body weight in pounds and multiply it by 15. Now multiply this number by 0.75 and 0.8. This is a good calorie starting point for you. I am not telling you these are your definitive fat loss calories, but this is a good place to start and see how you are progressing. If you are losing 0.5 to 1% of your body weight per week using this target and you feel good, great, you can continue. If you don't lose any weight over 2 or 3 weeks and feel like you can easily reduce your calorie target, then you can have a slight calorie reduction of 10%. And the opposite applies of course too. If you lose weight very quickly and you feel quite hungry, then you can increase your calorie target by 10% in order to keep the fat loss diet more sustainable. But I suggest not just looking at your body weight, also take into account how your clothes fit and your energy levels. In some cases, you could be losing fat and building muscle at the same time. So your body weight may not change much, but your body composition definitely is changing. So if your body weight is stagnant, but your clothes feel more loose and you feel great, then there's no need to change your fat loss approach. One last thing worth mentioning is that while you are in a calorie deficit, it is key you focus on lifting weights consistently, consuming enough daily protein, and having good sleeping habits. These three variables will help you maintain muscle effectively while making the fat loss process overall more manageable. So to sum up, there are three main takeaways from this video. The rate of fat loss you should have is completely dependent on what fat loss approach you can sustain best. For most people though, losing around 0.5 to 1% of your body weight per week is a good range. You can achieve this by maintaining a calorie deficit of 20 to 25%. And that's all for today's video. I hope you now have a better perspective of how fast you can lose body fat. If you found this video helpful, then leave me a thumbs up below. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and I'll see you in the next video.